this is a picture showing AMD CP roadmap revealing the company's up and coming processor architectures for consumers expected in the upcoming years. Now, two important takeaways from this picture, guys. Number one, it is a forecast of a presentation that was held back in May 2019, and this means things could have changed a little since then. And number two, it says Sand 3 is on track, which is accurate, and it also says that Sand 4 is in design, but that doesn't really say that much. Now, this picture is is a little bit more interesting as it also shows a timeline for when each CPU architecture would launch. Now in case you're sitting there and you're wondering, but I thought this video was about AMD's upcoming Ryzen 5000 CPUs. Yes it is, it turns out Sun is the name behind the actual architecture that makes up each of AMD's Ryzen processor, where 3rd gen Ryzen for desktop is based uh, off of Sun 2. Sun 3 will then be used in 4th gen Ryzen, which by the way I made a comprehensive video on a few days ago. You find that video down below in case you're curious. Now, Sam 4 marks AMD's move from a 4th gen Ryzen to 5th gen Ryzen, and it turns out we got some very interesting leaks and details about this processor lineup that I want to share with you, and in today's video, you're going to learn a lot about Sam 4 and 5th gen Ryzen, such as when is it really coming out, we're gonna look at specifications, and we're gonna look at pricing, will 5th gen Ryzen be cheap, or will it be expensive? Now, help me out here, guys, what do you think about Ryzen so far, how likely would a 2021 launch for 5th gen Ryzen be? Hey, what is up guys, welcome to Arbin Hardware, my name is Rob and I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. So let's kick it off and start with the design and the manufacturing process. So with Sam 4, AMD makes the jump from 7 nanometer down to 5 now. What does this mean? Well, first off, it means TSMC 7 nanometer development is performing better than we were first expecting. And secondly, it means that 5th gen Ryzen will be extremely high-tech and energy efficient. Just having a look at this picture shows the architectural improvements where N7 stands for 7 nanometer and N5 means 5 nanometer. It turns out there is a 15% power advantage and 30% less power draw between 5 and 7 nanometer manufacturing process. And this guys is huge. What this means is that the performance we can expect from 5th gen Ryzen will be massive standing again 7 nanometer Ryzen processors and according to TSMC the 7 nanometer technology should give 80% higher transistor density which means almost a doubling stand against 7 nanometer and what this means is that these processors would be so much more efficient which means higher clock speeds more cores lower temperatures and less power draw which means we're gonna see more FPS in game and this is good for you and me obviously now jumping from one main factory node to another may sound simple, but it's actually very challenging. Maybe one of the most apparent evidence of this is Intel, a multi-million dollar company who despite its massive success in the space for decades, actually been stuck on 14 nanometer for several years now. But judging from this forecast, that doesn't really seem to worry AMD too much. Stated a few months ago that they were ready to enter large scale production of 5 nanometer ships during the first half of 2020. And China Times report that TSMC's new 5 nanometer technology currently has a 50% yield. Now, yield means the actual number of fully working CPUs. And so, for example, for every 100 ships they make, 50 of them are working, which may sound pretty bad at first, but it turns out it's actually higher than the company's 7 nanometer process was in the same phase. The company is expected to see better and better yields as time goes on. And what this basically means is that everything is going as planned for AMD's 5th gen Ryzen and that kind of leads us over to release date. When is 5th gen Ryzen coming out? So Ryzen 5000 is set to release sometimes in 2021. And why is it taking so long? Well we have to remember AMD hasn't even released 4th gen Ryzen yet, which by the way is also looking extremely interesting. Now given that Ryzen 4000 is set release in September, 5th gen Ryzen could launch as soon as in summer of 2021. Now with that said, let's talk performance. Now based on this picture, we can definitely expect some major leaps in performance and efficiency for Sam 4 based processors and Ryzen 5000. It turns out AMD will primarily focus on its epic Yanoa server lineup before they move to Ryzen 5000 series for desktop, and this is simply because the server market is huge with massive amount of 
money here and AMD would like to be the first on the market with a leading 5 nanometer server lineup. As for specifications for these processors, now as of right now, there is still little to no information available as I'm recording this video, knowing that AMD is focusing on server space first, having a look at this new processor gives us a good idea what to expect. And right now what we know is the following, so AMD Epic Genoa again is supposed to be based on 5 nanometer, and SAM4 and part of 50 and Ryzen. Genoa is getting a new socket called SP5 and it's getting DDR5 memory support and since DDR5 comes with SAM4 it is possible that AMD Ryzen and Threadripper lineup would also feature support for this new memory interface. And while we aren't 100% sure uh, that you know what gets PCIe 5.0, well let's say it happens, that would mean a doubling in bandwidth stand against uh, PCIe 4.0. But one takeaway from all of this guys is that 5th gen Ryzen would move to a new socket which most likely would be called AM5. And while we don't know the actual core numbers and clock speed yet, there are a few things we are pretty sure about. Again, it releases in 2021, it will be based on 5 nanometer TSMC process, We're looking at DDR5 memory support, PCIe Express 5 and even more cores per shiplet. Genoa is also expected to use the third generation Infinity Fabric. Biggest upgrade with AMD Ryzen 5000 is that it's the first family since the first gen Ryzen to use a brand new platform, which means a lot more features that we don't really know about yet. But as for pricing, we still aren't sure, but seeing Intel doubling down on Rocket Lake and all the lake means that we should expect some pretty interesting competition in the CPU space in 2021. And with competition comes better pricing for us consumers, which makes me believe similar pricing uh, as with current Ryzen SKUs. Now, obviously, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I am committed to giving you guys the latest leaks and news as we get to learn more about in this upcoming 5th gen Ryzen. And in the meantime, watch either of these two videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Again, I want to know what you think about 5th gen Ryzen. Let me know in the comments below.